Hi, this is a 2001 Windsport here at Beckley's Camping Center, and this is Alex, the eBay guy. If you have any questions on this coach, feel free to give me a call on my cell phone. It's listed in the ad. It's also 240-405-7790. It's a nice solid unit. It's not perfect, but it is solid. It does have some small delamination spots. It's got one right here. And on the opposite side, you have one right here. This is a two air conditioning unit model. Get some specifics on the window sticker here. I'll also put all this in my ad. Let's look at some tires. We've got a date code of 3414. Decent tread left there. Lots of tread. So I got a Ford chassis with the Triton V10 engine. There's pictures of the roof in the ad. Looks pretty solid. They definitely did their seasonal maintenance on it. We step inside. We've got kind of the standard configuration of a motorhome. You'll see that they took the TV out from in between the driver and passenger seat and built a homemade organizer. Which is actually a pretty cool idea how to replace that spot that a cathode ray tube would be in. My camera is not included, just FYI. Sure, somebody will ask. Here's the spec plate. Coming over to the dashboard, you'll notice this unit only has 30,755 miles on it. Took this out for a drive on um, the 4th of July with some customers. Drives pretty well. Could use a um, a couple shocks and probably a front end alignment. Definitely a front end alignment. You do that anytime after you load a Class A coach up. You always get the alignment done. Now you'll notice that they put a new flooring here in the front, new tiling here in the middle, and new flooring in the back. I don't have any indication whatsoever of any soft spots. I think this is just done to freshen it up a little bit. Got kind of a classic style stove and oven. Nice clean microwave. These cabinets here are all solid wood cabinets. They're not vinyl wrap. Those of course have the mirror front to them. There's the LCD or LED TV that they added. Your dinette makes it into a sleeper. wood front refrigerator nice big closet to put your stuff in going into the bathroom got new floor there sink vanity and your shower now a lot of you will know will have the a leaking uh, skylight around here no evidence of that they did also seal around here and it's a pretty big bathroom got an RV queen size bed lots of cabinets around here and the only evidence of any water damage on the inside is very minor all the way back here in the very corner on the one side He's got a little soft spot, and it's about that big. That's it. The rest of the walls are solid. The generator is got uh, 400 and some hours on it. It's a picture of it in the ad. Starts up and runs great. The air conditioner that's in the back, that air conditioner starts up for me. I was not able to get the front one to come on. And I would think it would, so they may, may need to have a um, technician check that over. I do hear it click there. But for somebody who wants a beginning RV, just to start off, very budget friendly at the price point that I've got it at, 
This would make a great little first time RV to step into uh, camping and uh, with, the, with the generator you can go boondocking, check out antique malls, do whatever you want to do. I'm Alex, the eBay guy at Beckley's Camping Center. If I can answer any questions for you, please let me know.